UPDF and uh, Uganda police are on tension as Al-Shabaab terrorists threaten to attack Uganda and Kenya. And uh, in other news, a senior police officer has been shot dead right here in Uganda. How are you doing? A very good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe. And uh, do not forget to hit on the bell as well for all the notifications. My name is Fula. Now, Uganda police and uh, the army, UPDF plus other sister security agencies have said that uh, they are on high alert after our neighbor Kenya was yesterday attacked by terrorists. According to the news from Kenya, yesterday seven people died instantly in a bomb attack and uh, 13 others are in critical condition as we speak right now. Actually, this attack comes after the U.S. Embassy in Kenya warned the public to be careful since there is a possibility of another terror attack in that country. Now, the Al-Shabaab militants are believed to be behind that attack that happened yesterday in Kenya. Now, Uganda police and uh, the UPDF, they are saying that uh, they have beefed up security on the borders and uh, within the country to avoid the same from happening right here in Uganda. Now, Fred Nanga, the spokesperson of Uganda police, has said that uh, the public should also be vigilant while going about their businesses, especially in markets, bars, churches, and other crowded places. Now, this news comes in at a time UPDF and uh, the DRC forces are in Congo fighting the ADF rebels, and so far so good according to the news we are getting from that side. You remember yesterday, I told you that uh, uh, we have information that uh, UPDF has found four ADF mass graves during their patrols in the areas of uh, Kambia U, the camp that was uh, ADF's main base in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Yo, so I should say that is uh, the latest and uh, Fred Nanga, the police spokesperson, says that uh, the public should be careful, especially uh, during this time uh, when uh, the economy has really uh, opened and uh, you expect uh, people with uh, bad motives to attack the country. So you need to be very, very vigilant. In other news, a female police officer by names of uh, Atim Helen from uh, Moroto region, northern Uganda, has been shot dead by Karamojong warriors. And uh, this incident happened yesterday at 1 a.m. And uh, police says that uh, they have dispatched a team of investigators and so soon the culprits will be brought to book. And according to the news we are getting from that side, it is said that uh, this is the second attack on police in the same area. So it is very, very unfortunate and uh, we hope that uh, the culprits are brought to book as soon as possible. And I think this has been happening in the recent times. I remember recently uh, a number of people were arrested for attacking police officers. Yes, yeah, so I think we need to be careful. Uh, you really wonder why are people attacking police? But uh, we hope that uh, the culprits who killed this police officer in northern Uganda will definitely be brought to book. Yes, so that is the latest I have for now right here on the Buzz UG. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe. Yes, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and uh, tap on the bell as well for all the notifications. Thank you.